Hello and welcome to Planet Cobot. My name is James and today we'll be looking at another LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor tutorial. I've been playing around a lot with MVP from Robot Inventor recently and I have to say that the turret is by far my favourite design of all the ones covered to this point. This model is fun and really interesting to build. The turret and extra targets work incredibly well and really make the most of this kit's ability to use PlayStation and Xbox controls. In this video, we're going to explore how MVP turret works, look at the code behind the scenes and ways which we can edit and improve it, and finally, see the robot in action. Before we get started, let me take the opportunity to remind you to check out our website, planetcodebot.com, for more edtech resources, and to also check out our Twitter page for daily updates and news. Let's start out with the design. The turret builds off of the MVP base model. The entire mechanism can be built separately and it attaches to MVP very easily. The turret attaches to the same motor that controls the front wheel steering arm. This allows us to control steering and the turret direction with a single control input. The turret will point in the opposite direction to the wheels. Point the wheels left and the turret will face right. This didn't feel like the most intuitive control scheme at first, but I was able to quickly get the hang of it. From this top-down perspective, we can have a really good look at how the robot activates each rocket. Pressing the launch button sends an instruction to the motor. A small block attached to the motor spins left or right to push the firing pin for each rocket. The code for the turret will start off with a familiar feel. Step 1 is to choose the hub orientation and calibrate the robot to MVP mode. Motor C is being used to raise and lower the turret for aiming. Add motor speed blocks for later on. Like with the crane build, the motor speed doesn't need to be very fast. A slower speed will result in a more controllable robot. I am using the DualShock 4 controller to give my robot instructions. Motor D is being used to control both the steering and the left and right directions for the turret. Remember that the steering and turret directions are controlled by the same motor. This means that the MVP turret is much easier to control by steering first, stopping, and then aiming. Make sure you pay careful attention to the motor speed in this part. When the left button is pressed on our controller, motor A will turn at 60% speed. However, when the right button is pressed, we need the motor to turn in the opposite direction. To achieve this, we use a speed of minus 60. This will result in the motor moving backwards, or in our case right, at the same speed. Now that the left and right directions have been decided, it's time to tell the robot how to move the turret up and down. This allows for better aim and a much wider area of attack. Motor C is controlling the vertical aiming. We set the motor speed for motor C in the first block of code, so there's no need to do this again. Use the blue motor direction blocks to tell motor C to turn counterclockwise when pressing up, and clockwise when pressing down on your controller. Before moving on, it's important to add a fifth block of code to tell the robot what to do when no input is being provided. In this example, I've used the broadcast button with the word stop. I've then defined the stop instruction to tell both motor A and motor C to stop moving. Remember, if you don't include this part in your code, the turret and steering will continue to perform the last action you gave them until either a new instruction is given or the motor can no longer move in that direction. This makes the robot very difficult to control. The only thing left to do is to program MVP to fire the left and right rockets on command. To do this, I'm using the circle and square buttons on my controller. In the example, when I press the button, motor D is going to start at either 100% speed or minus 100% speed. Remember that using minus makes the motor turn in the opposite direction. Now you can add some sound effects and some light too. Before finishing, add one final block of code to reset the position of motor D. This will place the motor back to its starting position after each shot is fired, meaning that you won't need to do this manually. Well done, you've now completed the coding element for MVP turret. 